Oh. Maybe this isn't what I was expecting. So I've opened these up thinking they were from Vea because I was expecting a delivery from them, but it says SN0129 on the bottom. So I think these are actually from San Martin. I requested to take a look at these and they never replied to my last email. So maybe, maybe they just sent them anyway. Let's take a look. It's always extremely secure. I give them that. These chips with um, these tools, and I'm not sure if this is by default, these are some pretty high quality looking tools, I have to say. Now I have got the high-end Bergeon tools, so I probably won't be using this, but yeah. I mean, for free, you can't complain. Yes, yeah, San Martin, okay. Wow. Well, the packaging has changed since last time. Maybe it's model specific, but it's in a nice deep green color. Really unique. So it must be just coincidence with the Veya thing because it was uh, also from FedEx. Same tools again with this one. Now there's a particular reason I wanted to try these. Well, one of them at least. Let's see if you can guess if you've been watching the channel. Wow, there we go. So this one is the reason I requested to look at these. And if you've watched on the unboxing channel recently, you all know this isn't the first time you have seen a desert dial. But yeah, I really wanted to take a look at this because I also have this. And as you can see, they have something obviously in common here, that being the desert-like dial finish. Um, I was really intrigued to see how these two compared um, and they're actually more different than I expected. This is much more uh, ridged, deeply ridged and more regular. Whereas this one has that kind of more natural spread. Let's get the plastic off and take a closer look. So that's the dial on the San Martin. This is the SN0129 and it's a GMT style watch. These San Martins, I'm not sure there's anyone I've ever seen where it hasn't been built insanely well for the money. It is just ridiculous. Solid link bracelet with solid end links. A screw down crown it is. I mean, it's not even a dive watch really, even though they do specialize in divers. And that just looks awesome. But it's not the only one. They also really wanted to send me this other one uh, because they thought it looked better than the one I requested. So let's see. Now at a glance, this one looked great too. And this is the Aventurine dial, which they said, looks much better in person than in the photos. And I can tell you it definitely does and it, it looks better on video than it does um, on the photos as well. You can see it's got a kind of like starry night effect with different bits shining as you turn it around in different ways. It is really cool to look at. Admittedly, I have never tried an adventuring dial before, so I'm not exactly sure how this one compares to others, but it's mighty impressive nonetheless. Aside from that, they are uh, the same watch really. Having them here, I'm actually not sure which one I prefer. 360 nil steel case, of course. Both got uh, 10 bar water resistance. Really nice bracelet on each. Have they got a fake glide lock in here? Yeah, they've got the push release clasp system, which I've seen before on one or two of their watches, which is the one where it has the micro adjustments built in. So you push it and then just slide it and then let go which is easy to use. The only main downside with it is you have to take the watch off in order to do it. So it's not quite as good as some of the other systems I've tried like Casio, where you can keep the watch on wrist. I'll go grab the calipers and just see how the sizing stacks up. But San Martin is one of the few brands whose uh, sizes that they state actually match the product. A little bit tricky to measure because as you can see, the crown guards come out really slowly. So even the 10 to two isn't properly accurate. It's like 39.5. The bezel width is, let's have a see, about 38 mil. The thickness, 13.2, including the crystal. Without the crystal, it's probably about 11 and a half. Lug to lug, just under 46 and a half. So quite small. There's a preview of how it fits on my really uh, small six inch wrist. And that basically means this is gonna fit a lot of people. If you've got a really big wrist, this is 
probably going to be a tiny bit too small unless you like the look of smaller watches but it looks really nice quite slim too i can't remember what movement they said they use uh, i'll quickly have a check according to their website it's an nh34 that's a movement i'm not sure i've actually tried before but yeah the finishing is outrageous i mean to be honest, this San Martin, as well as the, uh, the, the Addis Dive, I mean, at their respective prices, they're kind of going for different markets. They're both unreal. And I like the change in the packaging. It helps them uh, stand out a bit. The previously used packaging was more generic and just made them kind of blend in with all the other AliExpress watches. Whereas this is nice and somewhat functional. Yeah, they're making moves, San Martin, no doubt. Let's just uh, quickly get the film off this one too. That is unbelievable, what? These watches at the moment are selling for each of them about 230 quid a pop on AliExpress and it is just uh, outrageous, absolutely outrageous. This is miles above, uh, you know, the mainstream brands, uh, no doubt. Chinese watches are really getting good. Like the thing for a while has been that they've been good at quality and it's really been a matter of how long is it going to take for them to come up with better designs or original designs and they're improving on their previous mistakes like with the logo and stuff and now these are just yeah i mean it, it kind of makes some of these bigger brands obsolete the only advantage that some of them might hold is with those you will have better resale value but that's not what these affordable watches are for anyway they're not like investment watches and when you can buy a watch that's this good with such insane case finishing, insane dials. I understand that some people you know, don't want a Chinese made watch and perhaps that's some of it. Anyway, I mean, this is uh, impressive work.